there is a pipe, flow is taking place in the pipe with a mass flow rate of m dot and specific heat is Cp. With a bulk mean temperature, inlet temperature at the bulk mean at the inlet section was given. And uh, there it is a variable heat flux, you are supplying heat flux at a varying rate. That means, at different locations of the x, here x is equal to 0, here x is equal to L. L is the length of the pipe, x is the direction of the flow. There is a variable heat flux we are supplying at the wall q dot is yes, symbolized as q dot, q dot x. Do not think that q dot means heat generation here, here it is a heat flux supplied which is given as a function as He has given that the tube is subjected to a surface heat flux of q dot x as a plus b sin x pi by L. It is a variable heat flux condition. Flux means what heat transfer rate per? unit area. We are required to calculate what is the length of the tube to get a temperature of exit temperature of T2, where T2 is the bulk mean temperature at the exit, T1 is the bulk mean temperature at the inlet section. We know already that the total heat transfer rate for any situation is M dot Cp into bulk mean temperature change from inlet to the exit. T2 minus T1 is the bulk mean temperature from inlet to exit. So, uh, but because here the uh, heat flux is uh, varying, I cannot uh, I cannot multiply the flux with the area. If the heat flux supplied is constant, then this constant heat flux if you multiply with the heat transfer area that is pi dl you will get the total heat transfer rate for the entire pipe, but it is a variable heat flux here. Then how to get this total heat transfer rate Q that can be done only based upon the integration by considering a small differential area, by considering a small differential area of length dx. If dt is the differential change in bulk mean temperature of the fluid for that section due to the differential heat transfer rate. What is the differential heat transfer rate for that flow of differential length of dx? Differential heat transfer rate for a flow of length of, for a flow of the fluid through a length of dx, differential heat transfer rate through differential heat transfer area. of length dx through differential heat transfer area of length dx is equal to q dot that is a heat flux this is into area. What is the area there? Diameter is been given pi d, pi d into dx, d is the diameter. The area of heat transfer through this differential uh, heat transfer rate is pi d into dx. If heat flux is q dot into area, we will give the total, we will give the heat transfer rate for a length of, for a length of dx. That should be resulting in differential change in bulk mean temperature of the fluid or differential change in enthalpy of the fluid. That m dot Cpd indicates differential change in enthalpy of the fluid for the flow of the fluid through a distance of dx. dx is the differential travel of the fluid. So, for that uh, distance of dx, how much enthalpy will be changing for the fluid is given by the differential heat transfer rate given by q dot into pi d, pi d into dx. This is the differential heat transfer area. This is the energy balance because thermodynamics also say that heat transferred in any constant pressure process or isobaric process is equal to change in enthalpy, this is a change in enthalpy of the fluid. 
but this q dot is a function of x I would substitute that a plus b sin x pi by L this is the this is the heat transfer rate q dot into pi d into dx is m dot cp into dt. Now I will integrate it between the limits inlet to exit this is t1 this is t2 here what is the x value x is equal to 0 here x is equal to L. Now it is only a matter of integration which I will do it here pi d into Now, if you integrate this function, d is a constant, it becomes ax minus bl by pi cos pi x by l between the limits x is equal to 0 to x is equal to l, it should be into pi d, pi d is a constant. m dot cp into t2 minus t1. So, it will become al plus bl by pi plus bl by pi m dot cp into t2 minus t1 divided by pi d. So, it becomes l into a plus 2b by pi is equal to m dot cp by pi d into t2 minus t1 l is equal to m dot cp pi t2 minus t1 by if you bring it right side divided by pi d into a pi plus 2b it would result in m dot cp t2 minus t1 divided by d into a pi plus 2b. This is the length of the pipe to required to have the a finite change in bulk mean temperature of the fluid from inlet to exit.